Hello everyone, Happy New Year and I hope 2023 is going to be your best year ever. Um, yeah, so just share with me in the comments how, whether you've got any new um, New Year resolutions and what plans you've got for 2023, especially in terms of your trading, right? Um, but anyway, today I thought um, I'll jump on and I will do a quick video on my initial steps of how initial steps to before I take a trade let's put it that way so what are the things that I really do and look at before I kind of take a trade and also like get my chart ready if that makes sense guys right so I'm going to do this in a couple of parts so today will be the first video which I'm going to kind of show you guys how I actually mark up support resistance if you guys already have seen my previous video you will know that I also have an indicator for support resistant breaks which I'll quickly show you guys um, it's not here but I'll show you so if you go to your indicators you can actually see now mm, let me let me just find consolidation support resistance can you see this one here support and resistance levels with breaks so if we just click on that it will basically kind of plot where the support resistance are the key levels okay but for the purpose of this video i'm actually going to just turn that off and i've literally turned off all my indicators everything so you literally see a naked chart here and that's what we want when we are plotting our, our own support resistance levels though we may have indicators which help us with our trading and kind of for entries and how to kind of see things better but i always believe that you need to understand the fundamentals and basics of how to look at a chart right when you look at a chart you need to kind of understand what you're seeing and what the, the candles are doing and what that particular pair is doing or, or and so on because if you don't understand the basics and if you cannot even draw the basics support resistance levels i think that's something that you need to work on and practice but anyway i'm going to show you guys how i actually start um to draw my support resistance as usual i kind of just like to look at the daily always i'm just going to minimize it make it you can make it as small you don't have to kind of have a big view of um how would i put it a big view of all the candles that's not necessary right now okay we don't have to kind of expand on the candles we are looking for support and resistance levels right so support meaning when you look at the top where candles come back and rest below so the, the resting zone below and resistance meaning when they are they are below a particular line and they i'll show you guys right so it's probably easier for me if i draw it and i can kind of um, explain it that way right so i like to look at a daily just to see where the chart is so right now we have uh uptrend here and lit and it's slightly going i'm going to delete all of this and we have a downtrend but at the same time it hasn't really we're not going to look for breaks and so on so i'm just going to kind of just see what the the pattern and the trend looks like but um i'm gonna i typically don't draw support resistance on a daily or four hours maybe just depends how, how far back i can go just to get a better data point but i'm just going to drop it down to even one hour to see data points to see how far back we can go okay just going to make it bigger bigger just so that it's yeah this this is good enough for me so i'm actually going to draw it on the one hour for now and so what you do is you go to your left here and you get your horizontal line marks and i'm going to draw it here and i'll tell you guys why just bear with me i'm trying to get it as accurate as possible okay um actually yeah somewhere about here would do the job okay the reason is because i'll tell you so i'm just going to make this a little bigger so that you guys can see yeah so if you can see this mark here you can see at the bottom prices come back to test this level a few times now if you can see it touched it it went down right this was another touch point here and these are all touch points and this is called resistance here because it's resisting the top line if that makes sense right and if you look at it from a top point of view you can see that is let's just go back can you see like these are support line so if you draw slightly lesser so it just depends so there could be really close lines in between where you can draw multiple do you guys get me so these are lines that i will be very careful of and i will be watching closely 
you know, you can actually just draw it by seeing, do you see that? So I drew this line here because there was touch points. So this is like your support level coming here as a support, rejecting it, and then going right back up. These are all coming close to support. Can you see? So these are all, and then if you go further to your right, you can see how close they have come to the support level here. Again, rejected off the support level so many times. So you know it's going to go on an uptrend. Finally, after the uptrend, it decides to come down, break the support, uh, the support and goes down, which then this area now becomes a resistance because it's not going back up against rejecting the bottom zones. And then it going down and basically breaks this, retest the support so-called support area previous support breaks it but it does a fake out there comes right back down again it ends again just a consolidation zone guys for the past few weeks just because it's been holiday season but do you guys get me so basically what i do and i also kind of like to know where price is so price is here at the moment i like to only draw two lines above two lines below because there's no point at least for me i think it doesn't make it worth for me to draw a support resistance line all the way up sorry all the way up here for example even though i could i could keep drawing all i want but it really to me um it doesn't really make sense do you guys get me because price is way down here and i'm going to be like trading as it moves at every part so as and when it trades i'm going to be drawing my support resistance line if that makes sense do you guys see that so i'm just going to draw two lines Maybe I can just draw it up to this mark here. That's fine. Um, and then I'm going to draw the bottom, okay? Let's look at the bottom level. So again, your price is here. I would keep an eye on this level here. If you can see it's resistant here, here. This is a support in this area. I'm going to make it bigger. So it's support in this area here for the top. If you can see rejected, it went up a little bit and then finally broke. So again, it did a test here. I'm just going to go to your left and see how much we can see. Do you guys see this? Do you, do you see that? So it's always good to always look to your left to see what price has done previously because it tells you a lot. It tells a good story. Okay. So, um, so prices, I'll probably draw one more at the bottom. Mm, I'm probably going to draw it here because this is a strong support resistance. So can you see here, here? here and here and here guys do you guys follow should i i'm just going to show you the last one what i'm going to do is i'm just going to draw circles just so that you guys can see this so big. hold on oops okay i'm going to move it here so you guys can see this copy paste and then here I'm just going to show you guys how often it has basically came back to this line and why I feel this is a very strong zone, right? And that's the whole purpose of it because you can, these are zones that you want to keep an eye on because price, oops, because price has came back to that level and keeps testing it, right? Can you guys see this, all the circles? Okay. This, of course, you can draw that for every single line that I've drawn, but I'm just going to show you guys the last line I've drawn here. Can you just see how many times this came back, rejected here, went up, rejected here, went down? Do you see how many times it's testing it? Look at that. Just do you guys see that? So it's a very important zone. And then once you've drawn it, you can always turn back on your support resistance zones and look. This will give you look at where we have drawn the lines. Do you see it matches up? Look at that. Look at that. OK, look at that. And this is on that. Can you guys see that? So maybe this ones are not crucial zones, but I I consider that a zone that I would want to keep my eyes on. So these are things that can help you alongside, but you need to know how to fundamentally draw it, if that makes sense. Right. So when you know how to draw support resistance, you know how to kind of see, okay, this is my entry point, for example. Now I want price. I know it's down. Just I'm going to give you guys an example. Let's say I know it's going to be a short. This is rejected here. I'm going for a short. Let's say you've kind of looked at all your other confluences. You know that's your entry. This is your entry point here now. Your entry and you know price is going to go down and it's going to basically reach this level again. For example, 
okay, so then you know this is a level, key level you want to keep an eye on. But at the same time, you do have another support resistance line here, which you would also keep an eye on because when you reach it here, you might want to kind of shift your um, stop loss to break even, for example, right? But obviously, this is a consolidation, guys. So, you know, this is not ideally a very good example as to entries, but I'm just showing you guys as to understanding support resistance so you kind of know where to expect where price where you can expect price to go so you can keep your eyes on it and um, just to be careful because sometimes we kind of think that oh entries here we are definitely knowing price is going to go here in this instance it did but sometimes it could have just touched here and then reverse back up so we want to be very very careful especially when we're doing huge take profits um we want to make sure that we are keeping an eye on support resistance of where possibly price could reverse on us. Right. So hopefully you guys understand how I kind of mark up my support resistance. It's just um, you know, just minimizing the chart like that and looking at all the very frequent touch points where price has come back to touch the same point again and again and again multiple times. And you want to kind of just draw a line across it so that you know that's a key level and a key zone to kind of look at. So I hope you guys um find this support resistance quick video in, um, useful tomorrow let's take a look at moving averages and how i use my phoenix indicator to help me to kind of understand the trend um, towards which direction and how i can use that effectively effectively and trade with the trend on different time frames